So we are really fortunate uh, to have leadership that is really supportive uh, on this issue. Our um, leadership in HIV AIDS goes back 30 years um, and started because we were headquartered in the epicenter of the epidemic back at the time in San Francisco. So back in 1982, um, Bob Haas, our leader back then, uh, was approached by a group of employees who wanted to hand out education materials uh, downstairs in the lobby uh, just to educate their friends and coworkers. At the time, it wasn't even called AIDS yet. It was called GRID, you know. So it was this unknown disease that were affecting a lot of our own employees. Um, and our leader back then took this very courageous step of not only allowing them to distribute the flyers, but joining them. So he and his leadership team were downstairs side by side with these employees handing out the flyers. And from then, um, fast forward 30 years in the future, um, our focus, we realized it was time to revitalize our effort. Uh, the, the disease had changed in many ways, many much progress has been made, um, and the corporate response needed to change along with it. So back in 2006, we made a comm commitment during the Clinton Global Initiative to step our efforts, particularly for our own employees. So our program was born. Um, so, and last year we celebrated our 30th anniversary. Um, as you heard from TK, uh, a lot of our employees are really coming together on that issue. Right. I think a lot of times your employees will tell you, I know a lot of programs start out with needs assessments, um, but also like a cultural uh, sort of impact assessment and employees will tell you what they're interested in and what their passion is. Um, if, you know, and, and really just hone your focus on that and lend your leadership support towards it. I think that says a great deal. Um, a key sort of uh, component of our program is that we really encourage local leaders to lend their voice towards the issues. So while we cascade a lot of our information through the global program in San Francisco, it's really tailored at the local level depending on um, what the cultural needs are, what the sort of recommendations and um, advice we get from our local HR folks. We partner with local nonprofits, you know, who bring the technical sort of expertise to the table with our local HR folks who then bring sort of the corporate policy perspective as well as lending, you know, sort of the corporate perspectives to our trainings. So I think a lot of it is just hearing what your employees have to say um, and responding to that. I think, um, I think business plays a great part in that because it's almost like how could you not, you know, you're part of this larger global community and for us we are located in 110 countries, we have employees in 45 different com countries and you know supply chains and customers and consumers all over the world. So it's 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 it feels like, you know, businesses are such an integral part of the global community now. And you certainly have a captive audience, you know, your employees and your workforce. So you are in an ideal position to bring these messages and to move the needle on global health issues.